Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Today on the bench, I want to tell you about Dawn's Purple Micro Jigglege. Now, I tie this in a variety of sizes. I tie it anywhere from a size 8 even to a size 6 jig, quite big, but I love this micro version. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a Togan size 10 60 degree jig hook. We'll tie with some 12 watt hot orange thread. We'll use a 1 8 inch Togan's light pink slotted bead for the bead, some purple angel hair for the tail, some black purple Arizona semi seal for the rear body, and some black red Arizona semi seal dubbing for the front body. To start the fly off, got my jig hook in the vise and I put the slotted bead on. Now make sure you buy slotted beads because they fit on the jig hook just fine. So I move the slotted bead right to the front and we're going to tie in our thread. And cover a little bit of the hook. Now that we have the thread on the hook, I've taken a small amount of my flash. Now you don't want too much flash here. I've just taken enough, say about 20 strands quite thin and cut it off keep it long then you're going to double it over your thread about halfway down the hook and just wrap that back towards the tail or towards the bend of the hook to form the tail once it's back never cut it never cut it sharply what you're going to do is a little trick to cut your tail to length. I want it about as long as the hook, so I'm going to finish there. All I'm going to do is rub my scissors back and forth. And I'm just going to splay that material. Just keep pulling on it. Just keep rubbing your scissors back and forth on that material. And that'll really make a nice tail on the fly. Never cut it because that'll make it really even. We want it very uneven. So that's a little trick you form a, a nice tail with. Now that we have the tail tied in, we're going to form a dubbing loop and make it quite short, only about uh, two to three inches because we're only going halfway up the hook. Take your thread back to the midway point and start placing your dubbing inside that loop. Then wrap your loop to make a nice dubbing loop and then we're going to wrap forward and as we wrap forward, we're going to slowly pull back that material to form the back rear half of the body. Now that we have the rear half of the body tied in, we're going to form another doubling loop about the same size, you know, about uh, two to three inches long. Bring your thread forward right to behind the bead and put all your material in that dubbing loop. And when you lay it in the dubbing loop, again, make sure it's nice and loose. You want this material loose because you're going to pick it out later. And then wind your, wind the thread to form the dubbing loop. And then we're going to wrap forward right towards the bead to form the front half of the body and make sure you pull that material back as you go to form a nice body on the fly and this is going to be picked out a little bit later. Now that we have the front body tied in, I'm going to take quite a few wraps and build up a small hot spot. That's why I use the, the hot orange thread. You can use red thread, but I love the hot orange. Form a nice hot spot right behind the bead and then whip finish a few times to, to finish off. You can also put some head cement on, but I just like to whip finish a few times to make sure it's nice and secure. Now to finish the fly off, what you're going to do is just pick all the material back. Get a good dubbing pick and just pick all that material out all the way through. And that'll form a real nice body on the fly. And if you want this material to lay down real nice to form a real nice leech body color or uh, profile, you can actually boil in hot water for a couple of minutes. Not even, just get boiling water, throw it in there for 10 seconds and all this material will lie down for you. But uh, that makes a great little micro leech.
So there it is, Don's Purple Micro Jig Leech. You know, I love tying them micro style, you know, size 10, quite small. As I mentioned before, I can even tie them bigger, but I really like this micro size and vary the colors. Again, you want multiple colors in your leech patterns because all leeches have a variety of colors. Make sure you have some of these in your fly box because they are deadly.